UFC. How about that Usman Edwards Crazy. fight? God. Crazy. Damn. Crazy. That was the greatest come from behind head kick knockout ever. It was over. It was Usman over. was dominating the last... The, I watched two it again four. today. I watched it in the gym today, working out. It's like, fuck, it's crazy. And we always knew Leon Edwards was really technical and really good. But I just assumed that the, the battle was lost. I just, it seemed first like round, he looked great. He, he took him down for the first time. Well, Colby Covington should have gotten credit for a takedown in the second fight. He did take Usman down. And Usman's knees went to the ground, and Daniel Cormier was angry that it wasn't registered as a takedown. He goes, yeah. that's two. And... You're talking to Daniel Cormier, who's an Olympic wrestler. That's yeah. that's the expert. That's who you should be going to when you decide whether or not something's a takedown. So I think they erroneously credited that with the first time that Kamaru Usman's ever been taken down in the UFC. It was the second time, but it was the most significant. Because not only did he take him down, he took him down, he mounted him, yeah. and then he took his back, and he was threatening with a rear naked choke. It's big. But then Kamaru, who's the champion he is, took over, and he won most of the remaining rounds. And it looked like it was, you know, three rounds to one. It almost looked like Edwards had kind of resigned to the fact that he was going to lose on a decision. Yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying. I mean, um, Dean Thomas, actually, who's uh, the guy we go into in between rounds, who's uh, an expert yeah. coach, he said he's broken. You could see how he wasn't looking his, his coaches in the eye, and he looked dejected. He goes, he's does what it looks like when you're mentally broken. And then he went out there and landed the greatest head so kick much for that, yeah. in the history of the sport. <laughs> it was so perfect, too. It's so textbook. But that's the thing about Leon. He's so technical. The way he does things is so smooth and, and so efficient. And so it wasn't shocking that he could do that. It was just shocking in the context of his performance up until that moment. Yeah. But the way he, he, he fainted with the right hand, extended the left that forced Usman's head to move off the center line and threw the kick at the same time. It was fucking magic. You can teach someone the the reason why that techniques work so well. You couldn't teach him any better than than that that visual. Cuz Usman's moving away from the punch and wham, the head kick comes. What is this? They were uh drilling this right before the fight. Really? Oh my goodness. Did notice something on video, I guess. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jab away hook kick. Yes. So they noticed that as he was moving, he would move off to the right hand side. Wow. That's incredible. He'll circle and then go with the high kick. Wow. This is, that's incredible. I mean, it's perfect. Greatest head kick knockout ever. And I don't think there's a close second. In terms of, I mean, you could say Holly Holm versus yeah. Ronda Rousey, but Holly Holm was winning that fight. It's a totally different experience. Yep. Holly Holm was avoiding Ronda. She avoided the clinch. She avoided the takedowns. She was dominating her on the feet. Ronda was already beaten up by the time that Holly landed that head kick. Ronda was getting fucked up. That was a rough night for Ronda Rousey fans. Very rough night. Very, very rough night. But a great night for Holly Holm fans. Yeah, it was. But this is different. This yeah. was a fight where it was a come from behind. He was down three rounds to one. He won the first round. He lost the next three. And to land that head kick in a fight like that was fucking wild. Especially when you consider, like, Leon hadn't fought in so long. He had gotten, there had been so many problems. You know, he was scheduled to fight Tyron Woodley in England. That fight got canceled because of the pandemic, and there was all these setbacks. But we had always known that he was one of the very best in the division, and that he's this, like, dark horse, this guy that people maybe in the general public weren't really aware of. You know, everybody's aware of the big stars, and he was just, like, super talented guy that had only lost one time in the UFC, and that was to Usman, Usman early yeah. in his career. And that was when he didn't know how to wrestle. So the big, one of the big victories was him taking Usman down the first round and yeah. showing him, hey, motherfucker. I'm a real martial artist. I'm not just a striker anymore. I'm a fully well-rounded martial artist. Yeah, pretty impressive. I love you and uh, you and Daniel's reactions. Oh my Those god, are some of the best. It was crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. Yeah. I mean, how do you not react that way? Yeah. Like when that happened. I mean, everyone behind us had the same reaction. Yeah. There's a video of uh, Tony Hinchcliffe who was right behind me, and uh, when the head kick lands, he stands up and puts his arms in the air and he goes, "Oh my god!" Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody's reaction was like, "Oh my god!" Because when you think that's one of the beautiful things about MMA, that is different than any other sport. In that, like, or b boxing too, is that you could come from behind with one move, one thing, and it changes everything and shuts it all off. It's so.